What's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how you can create this handwritten title text effect in Final Cut Pro without having to download any plugins. Welcome back to another Final Cut Pro tutorial. Just a fair warning, for this effect we're going to use the mouse tool and animate it with keyframes. It's not a complicated effect, but it does take time, so that's why you don't see it used very often. If you pick the right font and take the time to execute it right, you get a very cool unique title effect. So let's take a look and see how it's done. Now this effect can be used with any font included in Final Cut Pro, but for an even more unique title, you can download and install a custom font. A quick Google search will come up with a ton of resources for downloading fonts. Personally, I prefer to use dafont.com, link in the description. For my example, I'm going to use the Surf and Capital font, made iconic by Sam Calder. Love the way it looks, and it works really good with this effect. To install this font, hit the download button, and once the download is complete, navigate over to your downloads folder. Now open another finder window by clicking File and New Finder Window. All the fonts used on your computer are stored inside the library folder, which Apple has hidden by default, because they don't want people messing around in there just so they don't delete or alter any critical files. To get to your libraries folder, from the menu bar select Go and hold down the Option key. When you press and hold the Option key, your library folder will appear in the list. Double click the library folder and open the fonts folder. Click and drag over the downloaded font, close your finder windows, and restart Final Cut Pro. Once back in Final Cut Pro, let's add a basic title, enter whatever you want your title to be, select a newly added font, and increase the size. One thing that's going to help make this effect a little easier is increasing tracking, which is the space between your letters. Click and drag the tracking slider up a little bit until there's a gap between all your letters. Now open the effects browser, scroll down to masks, and add draw mask to your title. To start, add a bunch of control points on the left side of your screen, set the playhead at the start of the title clip, and in the inspector, let's add a keyframe to the control points of our mask. Now use the right arrow key to move the playhead ahead one frame let's start moving our control points. To make this a little more accurate, I'm going to zoom in on the viewer. Move the control points until the start of the first letter is visible. Move the playhead ahead one more frame and reveal another part of your letter. The reason we added so many control points is so we can reveal a letter in the same way as if you were writing it down. Continue revealing parts of the first letter a little more each frame, one frame at a time until the first letter is fully revealed. Once you can fully see the first letter, move the keyframes at the bottom and top over and continue on. Use these extra keyframes for letters that are a little more complex. To make it look a little more realistic, I would leave a larger gap between the letters, about 3 or 4 frames. I would recommend going back and reviewing what you have every few letters just to make sure everything looks like it's supposed to. Keep going until a full title is revealed. Once all the way through, let's go back and play back our clip. Like I mentioned before, this effect does take some time, but in my opinion, it's well worth it. When layered over a video clip, this title animation looks very cool and really unique. If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't yet, check out the rest of my channel for more Final Cut Pro tutorials. New videos release weekly, so hit the subscribe button so you don't miss them. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.